Hey everyone, so Rocket Lab stock just completed its merger and is now public, trading under its own ticker RKLB. This company is doing all sorts of exciting things right now that I fully believe makes this the closest investment you can make to SpaceX. In this video, I'm going to be giving an update on everything going on with the company right now, what's coming up in the future, and at the end we'll talk about the valuation, financials, and stock, and where it could go in the coming months. And definitely if you're new to the channel and like content like this, consider hitting the big red subscribe button below. And if you'd like to support the channel and get free money at the same time, check out some of the partners below like Acorns for example, which you can get $10 for signing up with using that link. Acorns is a really cool investment platform that helps you save and invest your money. And they're actually going public also, which is interesting. So to begin, Rocket Lab is at its core a launch provider with the capacity for small launch payloads, delivering 300 kilograms to low Earth orbit at the moment. But what's key is that the company has proven consistent orbital launch capacity, the only small launch company to do so, and the only other private space entity other than SpaceX to have demonstrated this. And normally I would move on, but I want to stress how big that is for the company to not only have reached orbit, but to have done it consistently. Companies like Astra or Firefly Aerospace, which have gotten tons of media attention, have both failed to reach orbit, much less do so consistently. Rocket Lab is the clear second to SpaceX in that respect. And while you might say, well, the rocket is so much smaller, and you can see in this comparison how much smaller it is. But their marquee rocket, called the Electron, which is for these small launches, is soon to be complemented by a rocket that will have a fully reusable first stage, and that will be called the Neutron rocket. And you can see the Neutron here in this comparison. This rocket, capable of bringing 8 tons to space, so 3,600 kilos, compared to the Electron's 300. The reusability is also a really awesome part of the rocket, and while not expected till 2024, from what we've seen from Rocket Lab and their success, I would be surprised if they don't manage to make this deadline. But again, these are small and medium launch payloads for the Electron and Neutron, respectively, whereas Falcon 9 with SpaceX is large lift capacity. The Falcon 9 can take 22 1,800 kilos to orbit, so you can get a sense of the scale there. But SpaceX's dominance isn't detrimental to Rocket Lab because, well, number one, there's a large demand for launch providers for companies like Planet or Black Sky or Spire or the military, etc., etc. And that is for to take their satellites to orbit, which a company like Rocket Lab can do so safely, consistently, and affordably. And we're looking to see other small launch providers like Astra step into this arena as well. But for now, that remains to happen as they have had a recent failure during a test. And by the way, while we're talking about Astra, I've done a comparison video between Astra, ASTR stock, and Rocket Lab stock in the past. But if you'd be interested in an update comparing them side to side, get this video to 300 likes, and I'll have that video out ASAP for you. But anyways, launch providing is not it for Rocket Lab because one rapidly growing segment they have is their Photon program. Photon is a name for the system that integrates payloads with their rockets, allowing for Rocket Lab to more efficiently deliver satellites to orbit. Basically, a company that wants a satellite in space will use Rocket Lab's pre-made satellite, which is already designed to be launched inside their own rockets, and then this Photon system is equipped with Rocket Lab's standardized delivery system, which helps them make the process consistent and replicable. It's really a great idea, and moving even more off this is what I've heard Peter Beck, CEO of Rocket Lab, discuss, which is that the company wants to not just be a launch provider, but also potentially a spacecraft company, not ruling that out. And recently, the company announced a new high-volume reaction wheel production facility capable of 2,000 reaction wheels per year. And these wheels are a major component for their satellites, which complements this large growing demand they have seen in this arena. Recall that in 2020, Rocket Lab purchased Toronto-based Sinclair Interplanetary, a provider of satellite hardware like reaction wheels and star trackers, and Sinclair Interplanetary pioneered high-reliability reaction wheels for small satellites, and there are close to 200 wheels currently operating in orbit right now. So this is a major step in the direction they're going. And also something we have to talk about is that NASA has tasked the company with an upcoming mission to the moon where they will launch a CubeSat into orbit there. And you can see this really cool graphic at how the trajectory will look like to the moon. And that is all from Rocket Lab and them alone. Obviously, they're working with NASA, but it's up to Rocket Lab to make this happen. But what's awesome is that the craft the satellite is on is Rocket Lab's Photon spacecraft, which is definitely an exciting step 
set for the future of this part of the company. This mission is expected to happen by the end of the year. Who knows if it will in fact happen before then? I hope so and expect so, but delays are always a worry in such a risky sector. But jumping back into the rocketry part of the company, you might recall Rocket Lab recently had a disappointing failure, the launch before last, which sidelined them for several months. This turned out to be what seems to be a fluke accident that occurred from a very complex and extremely rare technical issue that they investigated and corrected. After the investigation, they had a launch just last month in late July, which was completely successful, and they have plans for several more consecutive launches to make up for the delays in the next weeks. Right now, their next mission is called Love at First Sight and is expected to be given an exact date any time now. It will be launching from their main launch pad called Launch Complex 1 in Wahia, New Zealand. And their second launch pad is in Wallops Island, Virginia, and is smaller and only equipped for 12 launches per year, compared to their main Launch Complex 1, which can handle 120 per year. They will be launching several missions back to back for Black Sky, a good sign and opportunity for them to redeem themselves after the recently failed mission, something I am not worried about at all because of the consistency they have proven. Now as for their financials, Rocket Lab under ticker RKLB currently is at a market cap of around $6.5 billion at $13.5 per share. The company was valued at a premium for sure in its SPAC merger, giving it a $4.8 billion valuation at the deal price. The reasoning behind that is because of how much they have proven with their orbital consistency and how they are a second to SpaceX right now. The revenue projections are slow, but expected to pick up quite a bit, especially as they get to 2024 and their Neutron rocket helps out. You can see the 69 million projected this year and then going up to 176 million in 2022 and then 267 million in 23, 450 in 2024 and up to a projected 1.6 billion in 27, still a ways away. And you can see in red is their launch revenue and then in gray is their space systems revenue. So from their photon centered business and beyond. And it's pretty neat to see how powerful this segment is expected to grow. Their space systems looks to be just under half total revenue in 27. Rocket Lab is still a bit to negative, but projected to turn positive by 23, and then free cash flow is expected to go up from there to 465 million in 2027. So right now the stock is trading at a 12x 2027 earnings or a 57x 2024 projected earnings. So a large premium for sure, but with such a powerfully growing sector combined with Rocket Lab's fundamental strength in leading rocketry, the premium here can be somewhat justified. That said, if the stock is going to go up, they will need to do a lot of things very right with low margin for error. That starts with their next mission and onwards. It's very possible we could see the stock go below 10 in coming weeks, especially in the next month or two. Pipe investors and insiders will be allowed to sell eventually. But for now, I would say if you choose to invest, and this isn't a recommendation to do so, but I would say this is the type of investment you don't check every day, but focus on the results and what the company is doing. The stock will ultimately follow. So we could certainly go to 20 in the coming weeks, or we could go to below 10. You know, who knows? And that really doesn't matter. And that is all I'm trying to say. And this is ultimately a long game. So that said, that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the thumbs up and I will catch you next time.